welcome to two projects in this video we are going to explain the project blockchain based certificate validation introduction our main aim in this project is to make managing academic certificates more secure and accurate traditional paper certificates are not very safe they can be easily faked or tampered with checking these paper certificates takes a lot of time and can have mistakes to fix these problems we are using digital signatures and blockchain technology Digital signatures are unique electronic fingerprints for certificates created using content and a secret key. They prove a certificate's authenticity that is they help prove certificates are real. And blockchain is like a super secure database. Blockchain acts like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. And blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data is in stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. Object of the project so as i mentioned earlier the primary goal of this project is to make academic certificates highly secure we are doing this by turning certificates into digital signatures digital signatures make it extremely difficult for anyone to forge or tamper with certificates and we want to make managing certificates better and more organized to do this we are using blockchain technology blockchain ensures that once we store a certificate it cannot be changed or messed with this guarantees the safety and accuracy of certificate records and the project aims to leverage SHA-256 cryptographic algorithm for digital signatures ensuring the authenticity and data integrity of academic certificates. Requirements needed to execute this project are Hardware requirements Processor of i5 and above RAM of 8GB and above ROM of 25GB and above Software requirements needed are Node.js, Python 3.7.0 and Visual Studio Community version to execute this project, we have designed few modules. The first module is User Details. This module collects and stores essential details of the student including their roll number, name and contact number. These details are typically used to uniquely identify the student. The second module is Save Certificate with Digital Signature. In this module, the system allows an admin user to upload a student's academic certificate. The uploaded certificate is then converted into a digital signature. This process involves using the certificate's content and a secret key to create a unique electronic fingerprint. Once the digital signature is generated, it along with the student's details is securely saved in the blockchain database. This ensures the certificate's authenticity and prevents tampering. The third module is Verify Certificate. In this module, verifiers, companies or administrators can take a student's certificate and upload it to the system for verification. The uploaded certificate is converted into a digital signature. The system then checks and verifies this digital signature against the records stored in the blockchain database. If the digital signature matches the stored records, the system retrieves all of the student's details and displays them to the verifier, confirming the certificate's authenticity. If no match is found, it means the certificate may be fake or tampered with. Blockchain Integration So, once the digital signature is generated, it is securely associated with the original certificate. Subsequently, these securely stored digital signatures and associated certificate data are integrated into a blockchain system. Within the blockchain, this data is stored within blocks. And the data stored within the blockchain is secured using cryptographic techniques and distributed across multiple nodes or computers. Once data is recorded in a block, it becomes extremely challenging to alter without consensus from the majority of nodes. During the process of verifying a certificate, digital signatures play a crucial role. The digital signature of the certificate being verified is compared against the digital signature stored in the blockchain records. 
If the two digital signatures match, it confirms the integrity of the certificate, indicating that it hasn't been tampered with or forged. However, if there is a mismatch between the digital signatures, it raises a red flag indicating that the certificate may be fake or altered. And by utilizing SHA-256 algorithm that is Secure Hash Algorithm 256-bit, we have maintained data integrity. Each academic certificate's data is recorded in new blocks within the blockchain. These blocks are linked to the previous ones through a unique code called a hash. This hash code is generated based on the content of the block including the certificate data. When new data is added to a block, the certificate verifies the hash code of the new block again as the previous one. If they match, it confirms that the data within the block hasn't been tampered with. This continuous verification process ensures the consistency and immutability of the stored certificate information, making it highly secure and resistant to unauthorized changes. Execution of the project To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is certificate templates folder in which I have these certificate images which will be used in the application later. These are python main code files and this is run.bat file. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created windows bat file to execute the project. Now double click on it. This graphical user interface will be opened with this for interacting with the program. We have used tickinter library to create this graphical user interface. Now fill in all these details, roll number, student name and contact number. Roll number would be 1, give the student name, give the contact number. Now click on save certificate with digital signature button to convert certificate into digital signature and save it in blockchain. A dialog box opens, from certificate templates folder I am selecting this image and click on open. So here we can see the block number in which the details have been saved and we can see the previous hash and the current hash associated with the block number and we can see the digital signature of the certificate associated with these details. And if we give another set of details and store it in blockchain, this current hash becomes the previous hash and new current hash will be generated. This means the blockchain verifies the old and new hash codes before storing new block to confirm data is not altered. So we'll see that the roll number would be 2. The student name is Ravi. Give the contact number. Now click on save certificate with digital signature button. So this time I'm selecting the second certificate and click on open. So we can see the block number in which the details have been saved and we can see the current hash of the previous record has become the previous hash of this record and we can see the current hash generated for this record and we can see the digital signature of the certificate and the details stored. Now click on verify certificate button. So. Previously we have given 1 and 2 certificates, I am giving the first certificate here and click on open. So here we can see uploaded certificate has been successfully validated and the details are extracted from the blockchain after validation and we can see the details associated with the certificate. We can see roll number, student name, contact number and digital signature. Now again click on verify certificate button, this time I am selecting the fourth image and click on open. So here we can see verification failed or certificate modified. Again click on verify certificate button. This time I am uploading the second certificate and click on open. So here we can see validation is successful and the details have been extracted from the blockchain. We can see the roll number, the student name, contact number and the digital signature. So the conclusion here is this project boosts the security of academic certificates by using digital signatures and blockchain technology, reducing the risk of forgery and tampering. With blockchain's multiple server and hash code verification system, certificate data remains secure, unchangeable and immune to unauthorized changes. The project automatically creates and adds new blocks in the blockchain for each certificate, ensuring consistent and reliable record keeping. 
by checking digital signatures against his blockchain records the block, the project swiftly detects any unauthorized changes effectively preventing certificate forgery and therefore this project addresses the weaknesses of traditional certificate management systems by harnessing blockchain technology it promotes security efficiency and trustworthiness in academic certificate handling and verification processes thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.